it's so fundamental but we'll see how it goes our old mindsets can often become an obstacle to experiencing new things uh, it takes stepping out of faith let's step out in faith a paradigm shift of faith to spur us into the original thing and purpose that we were called for a few i've had the privilege of talking on a few platforms and somebody asked me and said uh pastor francis what do you think about what does the church need to do to adapt to this coronavirus and the new world that we're stepping in and it kind of took me aback because i said to the person that uh, i don't think it works that way i i think it would be it would be sad for us to think that this thing took god by surprise because it didn't uh i said it's not so much that the church needs to change as much as the church needs to go to god's original purpose and plan and if we had been following the plan we would have been better equipped better located better in the position to handle this crisis that is upon us and one of the things i'm going to start off with is this i'm going to give you a few paradigms and then i'm hopefully going to tie everything together before we finish the first paradigm i want to start with is that we in the church are the only organization that exists for its non-members it's amazing it's a it's a simple concept but i think most of us are aware of it but it somehow sits at the back of our mind for instance when you look at the scripture for god so loved the world no it's not it's not for god so loved the church it's for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son and at that time he had only one and so for god so loved the world he gave his son now there are many sons you and i are sons because as many and i'm going to end with that as many as are led by the spirit of god they are the sons of god so if you look at it properly then you will realize that now god still loves the world and he has given his sons and i feel we've all of a sudden become a self inward looking self-centered people and at the end of the day we can't uh we can't uh it's unbelievable but anyway at, at the end of the day we we um have missed a very big essence of us now please don't misunderstand me the church is the only organization that exists for its young its non-members so primarily our assignment is to reach out to people who are outside us and then bring them in and once they join us they join us in reaching out for what people who are outside and then there's a very important thing I must demystify right now. And I'm very lucky, like Pastor Tunde Babalala and uh, Pastor Wale Baba. We grew up on people like Kenneth Hagin, Derek Prince, and those foundational teachers of those days who had a better, uh, a better grasp of the, of, the, of the importance of Scripture than we seem to have today. And one of the things Hagin used to teach was the fact that there's this myth of a matured church. So people are always saying, when the church, when the church, when will the church finally become mature and take its place and do that? No, that day would really never happen. You say why? Because today somebody is born again into the church and therefore he's a baby. And then somebody matured in the church, therefore he's a matured person. Somebody is an old man who's been in the system, like the examples I'm giving. And then somebody is a young man in the same church structure. So at the end of the day, you, what you've got to understand that is happening here is the fact that we would never get to a place where the church is going to be matured and then we're suddenly doing the right thing. No, it's all of us playing our role at the right time, doing what we're supposed to do in our sphere of influence. Many years ago, I read the story of uh, Carol Corinthian Boom while she was in... Um, well, after she came out of captivity you know she was arrested by the nazis for helping the jews and she was because she was jailed and uh because of the fact that she helped the uh the, she helped the um, jews however her family was killed and i think only her her grandfather i think or so